Sveikinimą į Neptūnų įsipergalę, pelnytą, mes šiandien visiškai nesupelinėm pergalės ir, ir tą parodė pirmas kelnys, kaip mes įžengėm, sumokėm tą kainą už tai, kad mes negrebėm šiandien varžovų ir ta, tai yra tiesiogiai žaidėjams mūsų, realiai pirmą kelnį žaidė tik tai Lukas. Neradom nei vieno antro žaidėjo, antroji rungtynių pusėje su šešiais žaidėjų, iš šešių žaidėjų rotacija nėra taip paprasta 20 taškų grįžti rungtynės ir, ir paskui ten skūstis kažkokiais ar, ar ten teisėjų ar kažko čia, čia ne, ne, ne tame esmė, esmė taip, kaip mes pradėjom rungtynės, taip, kaip mes įėjom. Ir iš, iš mano pusės mes galim praložti rungtynės su kažkais sunkiais varžovų pataikytais metimais per pakeltas rankas, bet... Skaudžiausia yra tas, kad 46 taškai baudos aikštelėjai, kur varžovai fiziškumo karaliavo ir, ir tą, tą kainą turim sumokėti. Trenerė, po rungtynių ilgai užtrukant komandos Rubiniai, kokia buvo žinote žaidėjams? Koks yra jūsų pasiteisinimas šitai pradėti rungtynės, koks tas vadinamas ekskiūzas, bet kažkodėl labai tylu buvo. Jūsų komanda maršo pradėjo antru blogiausių kėlinių polime šį sezoną. Blogesnis kelys buvo sužitas tik prie Žalgirį lapkričio mėnesį. Kas lėmė tokius slogus startą? Ar nusiteikimo problemos ar, ar kas, kaip aiškintume tai? Greičiausiai. Varžovai pajautė, kad mes šiandien minkšti ir, 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 ir tiesiog o, to naudojas. Turbūt te, tesant panašią temą, bet kaip tik ką minėjot savo pirmajam pasisakyme apie Neptūno taškus iš pokrepšio, tai iš tikrųjų ir tiesiog žiūrint rungtynės labai pasistebėjo, jog labai dažnai būdo vaganėtinai paprastai įmetamas Kamaulys ar Tubeliui ar Pacevičiui, kurie iš, išeidavo prieš mažesnį oponentą ir suverdavo taškus. Šitoje situacijoje kas tai labiau kažkokios individualios gynybos klaidos, ar tai grinai agresyvumo stoka įsileidžiant varžovą, taip, taip giliai patogia situacija? Apie kokias taktikas galim šnekėti, kai, kai tau metą iš pokrepšio, ką tu tikėsi, kad prames, kai tu duodi ten primt, kai, kai tu nieko nepadarai, kad ten kamulis nenuėtų, tai tiesiog. Čia, čia tikrai nebuvo apie taktiką šiandien, varžovai pasinaudoja mūsų minkštumų, kažkur atsainesnių požiūrių į rungtynės, Nepralaimėdami čia daugiau negu metus, mes galvom galbūt, kad čia žiūrovai iš mūsų rungtynės laimės, šaunoliai vėl pil, pilnas arena susirinko, bet šiandien parodėm nepagarbą. Neptūno vyriausiam treneriui, tai trečia pergalė iš eilės prieš skirtingo lingio oponentus. Jūs kaip treneris Kas jūsų akim labiausiai pasikeitė Neptūno komandoje, kad jie pradėjo kitaip žaisti ir tos pergalės atsirado? Šiek tiek greičiau, šiek tiek geriau. Kamaulys juda įtraukia labiau veteranus, kurie žino tokias rungtynės kaip žaist. Ir jie jų rolė išaugo, presuoja kamulių žymiai geriau. Ir, ir tam buvom pasiruošę, bet... Sakau, šiandien net laikiam to fiziškumo, kurį privalom atlaikyti. Galbūt žaidėjai gerai pasijuto, gal jiems atrodo, kad pralaimėjimas prieš paskutinės rungtynės jiems yra gerai, tai čia yra loser mentalitetas. First of all, congratulations to everyone, players, coaches that who had three days preparation for the game and really were well, okay, keep going, okay. Who had the three days to prepare this game and really We practice very good, and this is what I said to the players. If we have this kind of the practice, with this intensity, with this energy, uh, we'll come here for a fight. Uh, I'll just translate quickly. Paklausiu trenerio tiesiog pirmų įspūdžio per rungtynės. Trenerio pagrindinis akcentas yra dėl gerų treniruočių. Tris dienas komanda ruošiasi ir puikiai treniravosi ir treneris sakė žaidėjams, jog jei taip dirbsime, tikrai galime čia atvažiuoti ir iškovoti pergalę. First half, I think we had great game both sides, offensively, defensively, we play perfect game. And of course, we said on the locker room that uh, Ritas is a great team and he will react. And we wait for this reaction, but unfortunately it happened on the first 50 seconds, one run that give confidence to Ritas. Uh, sužaidime beveik įdėliai pirmąją pusę, bet uh, tikrai žinojame, jog uh, laukia ryto reakcija. Rytas yra gera komanda, tą sakiau ir savo žaidėjams pertraukos metu, uh, taip kad laukiame tos reakcijos gaila tik tai, jog uh, ryto puikiai atkarpa įvyko per pačias pirmas 50 sekundžių. But the key is that we control turnovers, we had only 12 turnovers in this kind of game with this 
pressure with this intensity, I think it's great number for us. Uh, pagrindinis dalykas jog pa, pavykos kontroliuoti klaidų kiekį su klydome tik 12 kartų, kas kas yra puikus rezultatas mums tokios rungtynėse. But if we see the total picture, I think my team deserve this win. We play with great confidence almost 40 minutes and I'm very happy for uh, all the organization players uh, coaches that who have a good run uh, this three weeks I'm on the club. A uh, tiesiog es esu labai laimingas ir manau žiūrint į bendrą paveikslą tikrai būmame verti verti pergalės šiandien. Uh, coach, uh, absolutely amazing game, uh, great victory, congrats. It seems that your players are reborn mentally. Uh, could you agree with that? Um, I think defensively uh, we start to be more aggressive and uh, everybody, everyone believes that this kind of basketball that we try to play, in, they, they like. They like the way that we are practicing. And uh, believe me, I'm enough experience. I am almost 20 years in high level, and I said this to the guys. This approach that we have every day on the practice for me is a gift for every coach. Believe me, uh, our our practice is high level, and if you are practicing like this, means that you have big motivation, you believe, and uh, we need to continue like this. Uh, a winning pos possession attack and to balance points uh, did it go as he planned? Sorry, did it go as planned? And to balance points in the last uh, attack. Oh, uh, we have two options. We, we know that uh, everybody will focus, everyone will focus for Ignas, and uh, we create one move. So it first action, first option was Ignas, second option is uh, us. But you know, this kind of game, that one position is, uh, of course, you need to be lucky. And uh, two games now, we let Kabilis in here, we're losing on the last minute, but we play great defense. And this is that everybody believe and we play this kind of defense last minutes. I think it's a, the th that something that we need to keep as a team. Uh, we were, uh, when we were commentating on the game, you know, we were uh, half joking that, you know, when coaches make a lot of substitutions, it's, uh, we say like it's like in ice hockey. This was kind of like the opposite in terms of what you did, um, keeping a lot of players uh, for long stretches of time. You know, we saw Tom Rutherford, I think, in the first quarter, nine minutes, uh, then Patsavich just played 10 minutes and it worked out great. Is that, let's say, part of your also philosophy to give this extended period of time for players or? I think that we need to give the time to the players to to feel the game. Uh, I'm not one coach that he will make a sub on the first turnover or second turnover. They need to... This is my philosophy. We need to have ball reversal. Everyone touch the ball on offensively, defensively to fight, and everyone, they will have minutes running. So they can feel the game, and uh, if someone like Minda of the previous game, he's in good day, he, everybody will play for him. And uh, lastly for me, um, maybe w in sort of looking into the next month or so, where, where do you see, the, let's say, the untapped reserves of the team and also maybe related to that, what do you expect from Joshua Newkirk's uh, role to be in this team? When I had a first conversation with uh, Mr. Mazekas, uh, I told him that we say about goals for the uh, for the team and they said for me and really I believe on this because you cannot even think for two weeks ago everything can change we need now we give them to the players two days off because we play next Monday so they have two days off now to uh, relax celebrate and after we need to think only Tuesday game if you overthinking too much you are losing you know moments and we cannot lose moments uh, you have worked with uh, Foster in Panathinaikos a few years ago. Uh, I saw you were small talking with him in the first quarter. Uh, what was it about and what's your connection with him? Marcus, uh, when I, uh, I was as a head coach in Pana, he signed for us. He He's really great character. I like the, his approach, his mentality. He's great scorer. When he came in Pana, it was, it's not easy always to make this step from Chabius Ling to Euroleague, especially in one club like Panathinaikos. And I really, I'm really very happy for him watching and uh, spoke with him and we arranged also a dinner in, in Vilnius. Um, 
Marcus had a nightmare game until third quarter. He had uh, minus eight uh, efficiency points. Uh, what his performance in the last 10 minutes says about his level and, and, and leadership right now in Ritas? I, I think this is, uh, that's why maybe when he came in, in Panathinaikos first, um, second year after Europe, he wasn't ready to control the, his feelings because he had some games, great games. But after it wasn't easy for him to come from the bench, Nedovic was, you know, the main player and to control his feelings. But now that he's more mature and he can understand the basketball and his feelings, to control his feelings, he had a not good game, almost 30 minutes, but at the end he showed his character. And this is, you know, if you have this quality as a player, it's not easy to find this, this quality. Uh, I hear that you are extremely care uh, about Neptuna's youth developing. Uh, you even organized a practice for little ones uh, some days ago. Could you walk us through how important that is to you in Klaipeda? First of all, I, I would like to learn about uh, basketball academies, how it works, because in Greece it's totally, totally different approach uh, about youth basketball. And uh, really, I'm amazing what I see, uh, how they organize, how they are practicing. And um, I try to learn everything, how they organize the young, how is uh, the championship, how, uh, how they develop so many players. Because last year, uh, Lithuania, not only last year, but always uh, they feed players to NBA, to EuroLeague. And uh, for me, it's very important, you know, these youth schools, and I like to learn. 